so what's the process like for a director of an audio original? So I had never done that stuff. I've been involved in like, you know, freeform podcasting before and I've directed, you know, music videos and TV and sketches and stuff like that um, and kind of reality based things. Um, so kind of coming in and just like realizing like what's stimulating, what kind of keeps someone engaged. And so when I'm, you know, when I'm editing, say like, you know, like something video based, I kind of like you, you want someone to be, you know, seeing something different or hearing something new. And so like when you take out one of those, uh, you know, senses, it's like, what are the things you can do? Like, it's like make it physical. So like the idea of like, uh, like having people fill up the space and not just read off the stuff. And then also when it comes to the sound design, which, um, this company Mumble uh, did, uh, which is incredible. Like, it's like, oh, what does this door sound like? Well, it's like, it's, you know, it's a psychic shop. Uh, so maybe the door into this way is a beaded curtain. All right, let's make it, you know, yeah. smaller beads, bigger beads. I don't know, that kind of stuff. And that one's like a squeaky door. And this, like, you want to also, like, physically, like, set up the geography of a room, too. And all that kind of stuff was super wild and fun to, like, you know, kind of keep the brain engaged. Because it's, if it's just two people talking, then it's like, it, you know, it's not as stimulating. It's like, you know, I, I, you know, I have ADHD and like, it's like, I kind of like, I read a lot about it, like, and what happens with the brain when it has, like, it needs, it gets new information. And I've also directed like, uh, um, uh, stand-up specials. And that's another kind of thing where it's like, for the most part, it's just a guy on stage, a guy or a girl like on stage, like just talking and how do you, like, when do you cut to another angle? When do you like, you know, have a move on the camera? Like these little things all kind of helped inform uh, doing that. So it was, it's a, it's very processed. I'm sorry if that was real dry, but that's like, yeah. I asked about your research. Have you ever listened to those old tiny radio shows? Yeah, the... yeah. I listened to like, um, I mean, I love. There's like a, a radio cast recording of um, Lord of the Rings, which is really good. Um, and I love uh, like listening to old like Twilight Zone uh, radio episodes. Those are really really rad. Um, and and they do a lot of that. They do like a lot of that stuff. And like, there's something like, I. The, the audiobook I've listened to the most in my life is uh, Born Standing Up by Steve Martin. Um, and that is like a thing where he's like so good at like kind of like when he starts talking about certain old bits and then talks about like the audience reaction and the feeling of like where like the physical space. And then in between chapters, it's like nice banjo music. And so like um, that, like I like thought about all the things I liked about audio stuff and like just and, like, I, like you know, the music like uh, like you know like right here should be this kind of thing and the way it fades in and the way it kind of can transition uh, and all those like old radio shows do that a lot too which is like so great and you know it's like oh like this person has to be far away no, they're too far away but like it's like you know yeah and I remember a long time ago I went to like Disney World and they had that was the first time I heard like 3D audio and it was like in maybe like 92 or something like that but I remember like sitting and then like someone like walking in and the whole panning audio thing and I like I was just like I was like we gotta do a ton of that stuff <laughs> uh, is that possible is that does, is that gonna take up a lot of your time and like they're like it's 2023 it's easy <laughs> how did you get involved so Felicia and I uh, have worked together we've known each other for years throughout the kind of um, you know the nerd sphere the nerd entertainment sphere uh, and then we uh, started working together on a, a show uh, a few years back um, and just in a recent um, way, I actually ended up directing her. And like, it's like, and she and I got along really well. We never, you know, we had done cons together and had like acted with each other, but uh, there was never that dynamic. And so when we uh, had that dynamic and we both kind of like ping pong ideas off each other, like really easily in a, in a fun way, um, she was like, you know, I'm finishing up the script on this thing. I would love for you to come on and direct it. And so, yeah, that was like, I was really excited to do it. You know? All the way back to the guild, or um, no? The, like I, you know, I, I never knew guild. her until like like the, the last couple seasons of the guild. It was uh, um, it was it was you know we didn't start working together until a, a show on a I streaming see, platform. Can't. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 <laughs> right. yeah, it's, um, skipping else. around on eggshells. Yeah. 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 How much fun is it to direct Neil Gaiman, and how much fun was it working on that role? Because that was one of my favorite things about the first episode. <laughs> it's like it was. <laughs> Like, what, what am I going to say? I'm just like, you know, I'm just a joke boy, you know, that like has like showed up and stuff here and there. Like, I was like, and I'm talking to like one of the foremost like storytellers of like the Western world, you know, and like, I'm, and like, and I'm just like, I'm like, I'm sure he'll be fine. And he's very funny and very like, you know, affable, and, but he's very serious with like, it was just that thing. I'm like, okay, I'll let him go. But like, I was like, okay, you could be a little funnier here. Actually pull back and go more dry in the old game of style. And that was kind of, and then there was like, you know, 
I told him this, I was like, oh, try it like this and add this line. And he was like, oh, that's funny. And then like, um, I did it again. And like, and he was just like, that's not funny at all. Like, it was just <laughs> like, uh, it's like, uh, like, and then of course, my, my, like coming in and coming out, my self-esteem remained the same, but there was a big spike in the middle of it. You know? <laughs>